That is another gorgeous keeper, redfish. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to MDLR Fishing. Today, we're gonna fish a marsh that is located on the upper Texas Gulf Coast. I'm gonna throw some shrimp imitations next to some oyster, maybe even travel to a back lake. But before we even get started, a quick word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Catchco. Two of the lures that we are using are branded by them. We have the salt native scaly shrimp in the pure prawn color, and then also the 10,000 fish shimmer swimmer in the ghost and natural colors. If you're interested in these lures, go down into my video description below. Click on that link. It'll take you to the Carl's website where you can check these lures out. And if you consider making a purchase, I highly encourage you to become a Carl's member because members get to save on free shipping for most items. There's also 30% savings almost on everything at the site. And also right now, Carl's is having a huge holiday sale. All the details are listed below. Thank you Catchco for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back to the action. Picked it right up, speckled trout on the board early, and I think it's a keeper. Here we go, right in the oyster where they should be. Get a quick measurement on this fella and see if we can take him home. That's a 15 inch on the money. So we're gonna let him go. I don't wanna take a chance with this guy. Oh, he was not gonna get off as well. Here we go, we'll see you later, buddy. Continue living the good life. Not a bad start. That was, by all means, a keeper in the state of Texas, but again, 15 inches. You put them on ice and then all of a sudden they shrink about a good quarter to half an inch and you're going to be standing there with the undersized fish trying to explain that to the game warden, so I'd rather not. Let's put our net away and we'll continue fishing this oyster. You got grass, a nice steep drop oyster to this side over here and well hopefully there's going to be some bigger fellas actively feeding nice subtle twitches down there at the bottom and he just picked it up cast right up against the grass line nice little gut that runs through here we've got oyster right in the middle of the bayou two guts on either side. This one's the more thinner of the two, so the water will be more confined and ripping through really big time. Get a little bit closer to the grass. Oh, he had it. There's something small, most likely. My, oh, there's a thump. Hmm. Oh, wow. Nice red right there. That was insane. Like, he literally showed his back and everything coming out of the water. Christian, I think there's reds over here coming up to the surface.
Yep, that's exactly what it is. Holy cow. Yeah, this guy's got some muscle, and judging on how they look, they're definitely red, son. Yep. There we go, get in the net, get in the net. Keeper, keeper redfish. Oh my goodness. Gave himself up, literally. There's probably a few more that I have seen making some wake above that oyster. Got a 22 inch redfish right here on our hands. <clears throat> 21 and a half inches, cha-ching. Dinner is served. Thank you, buddy, for providing us with some nourishment. That's gonna be so good. Oh, if I can catch these guys in time, that'll be a good B-roll shot. Nice spoon bills right there, y'all. And that rose color. I don't think we're gonna get it in time. Come on, Mark. right there cast right over that oyster if it's a red we'll see if they want to go after this there's a lot of bait right above the surface of the oyster and ever so often we see I see a nice big old like swirl a boil right below that surface hoping that we run our lure right in front of another red yep right there look at that he he crushed it he's swimming on top of the oyster all right back to back oh that is a good one he's bigger than the first one my gosh, and fighting against the current. Oh, wow. Boy, these that's what I love about these fellas. I mean, they are just so tough. Very strong. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Wow. Come on, dude. My gosh. Oh, goodness gracious. This is, he looks the same size. He just seemed a little bit bigger in the water, but it's probably the same size as our last red. The shrimp crushing it for us. I was gonna say he looks to be about the same size and the reason why it seems like he's fighting so hard is this current is just going so darn fast. That is another gorgeous keeper, redfish. Whew. The size I like, that is for sure. Oh no, this one's 22. We'll stop this guy from feeling any more stress by hurrying up and dispatching him. Go down into that brain cavity with the Nice forceful thrust, and then they should flare. There it is. You can see how the dorsal flared, his tail flared, everything. He just like tensed up for a quick second, and that's pretty much it. He's done. 
Quiero tenerte, quiero besarte, satisfacerte, que tú despiertes al lado mío. En Dios confío, me ha regalado lo que he pedido y un poco más. Solo un poco más. Lo que me da, hermosa. Nunca lo voy a soltar, nunca lo voy a soltar, porque. That's going to do it for the day, y'all. Thank you so much for tagging along on this adventure. I couldn't think of a better dish to make on a cold day such as this. We've got a nice hot bowl of soup, redfish fillets poached inside a very spicy tomato base, and uh, we got that Southwest flavor. Yeah, so if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave us that thumbs up. And until next time, tight lines, everyone.